Hey YouTube, Not Home R here, and hey, it's been a long time since I've done a video. So this is going to be kind of an update on uh, just a few things, kind of what I've been up to. Uh, let's move this one here a little bit. Talk a little bit about uh, my pipe making business and where that's at. So if you're interested in some of those things, then hang in here. I just want to say I had uh, an amazing time in Nashville. I haven't posted a video since then and I was going to jump on everybody who's doing their top 13 or 14 or 10 or whatever but um, I didn't get to stay as long as I wanted. Um, we had something happening at church on Sunday that I had to be back for so I got to stay for a day. Got up there Friday. <clears throat> um, met uh, my buddy Mark. Um, Mark Knee Deep is his uh, handle there on YouTube. And uh, we hung out there for, I guess we got there uh, at Big Star Cigar, got in about 4 o'clock, and that was awesome. Um, guys, you did a great job. It was so organized. I wish I had got there for more. Um, but just the way you uh, had it organized and orchestrated and the things that uh, went on and uh, the food and everything, it was a class act. Just a, a great job um, as far as organization and it was great to see everybody. <clears throat> and then at Uptowns, that was great uh, too. Um, I guess I should have brought a couple of things up that I bought, but I won't worry about that. Anyhow, um, look forward to the next event like that. <clears throat> Anyhow, let me show you something. I, uh, I've got, uh, got kind of a unique pipe here that I thought I'd show off that I made. Um, this pipe. Um, actually what had happened I was making a nice plateau type pipe and I decided to uh, do some cutting after I drilled in the bandsaw and I got into the airway so I had this piece of wood kind of reminds me of a heart For some reason that look like a heart um, anyhow so I um, basically had had messed this thing up so I thought well so I got a piece of uh, tulip wood and I put down my lathe and made this long stem out of tulip but I love the smell of tulip wood when it's on the lathe it's got such a neat smell <clears throat> and uh, created a nice big uh, church warden so I'm gonna fire it up give it its inaugural smoke and see how it works so I'll be back in just a second with it actually before I fire this one up let me show you one other pipe <clears throat> and I finally am feeling like I'm getting to the place from a quality perspective to sell and uh, uh, Mark Knee Deep at uh, her Mark which is uh, Knee Deep at I just mentioned before he had said to me that when I finally get ready to sell my first pipe he wants dibs on it so he's decided to take this one so this is my those of you that are on Instagram will have already seen this. Got it drilled just, just right there. And there's some nice bird's eye on the side of this. A couple of little pits, but not much. It was so, the, it, this came up so nice that I decided to um, not, not do any rustication. And I also decided that since it had come up so nice, that I wouldn't stain it just to let that bird's eye and so I was quite pleased with that <clears throat> I tell you a little I was worried though because I made this I tried this is a fair size poker it's not a little one it's a it's a decent size and the stem is quite long and I actually it wouldn't sit and so I went in had to reset it up in the drill press got it centered up and took a half inch off the briar um, stem there and got it to sit because I, I wanted to make it a sitter so <clears throat> it is now a sitter I'll maybe show some pictures of it later but um, nice blue acrylic on the stem so I'm quite pleased with it so Mark uh, decided that he did want it I got a good yeah, just, just for, this is a, probably the first time that I can say every little thing. Just, just spent a lot of time in the sanding, and just got it 
um, as high a grade as I've ever done. Uh, nice carnauba wax build on it. So, all right. So I'm going to fire up this pipe, and come back with a couple other things, and be back in just a second. Wow. Mm. Little frog Morton cellar. <clears throat> mm. Really nice draw. Boy, this is. This pipe is smoking great. Well, for something that was kind of messed up, I'm digging this pipe. It's just a, I don't know if I can say so myself, it's just a cool, funky pipe. And, uh, I don't know, again, it looks like a heart to me. Anyhow, uh, just a couple of things, I guess. Uh, I, I'm going to I'm gonna get going here with my pipe business, um, pushing through. Really excited. I've booked, um, I've booked three days um, in Grant Batson's shop with him in December. And uh, looking forward to uh, learning under him for three days and just learning as much as I can. I'm really wanting to um, be able to do this in a, in a high grade and, and a good quality. And um, have lots to learn. And I, I, I love Grant's work. He's just as an amazing artisan. And... Um, just, he just, I haven't seen anything that he's made that I haven't liked. He just, I like his style. Um, and you know, what's kind of neat is I, I like the pipe makers that when you look at the, their pipe, you, you, you just know it's their pipe. And uh, that's what's cool about Grant's work. I'd like to figure out what my style could be. I'd love to be able to have that ability someday to have, uh, uh, you know, my, my pipes be the kind of thing that when you look at it, you'd know it's a, <clears throat> not pipe. Still trying to figure out the name thing, whether it's going to be um, Randall Not Pipes or Not Pipes. Uh, still working on that. But I uh, love Grant's work. Really excited about the opportunity to work uh, with him in his shop for three days uh, in December. Um, you know, like you, the near up pipe, you, you, you see a near up, you know it's a near up. You see a Batson, you know it's a Batson. There's a few few guys out there like that. So. I think that's cool. Anyhow, um, so if you're interested, uh, feel free to email me or hit me up on Instagram or private PM me here. Uh, at first, uh, and it, what I'm not, I'm not going to take commissions. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm at that place yet where I'm ready to, you know, somebody to say I want this, this, and this, and and, and do it. I get, or maybe I'm not ready for that pressure yet. I th <laughs> right now, I want to kind of create something, um, and then. Put it out there and see who's interested. Um, so, but, yeah, but anyhow, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking for now for a while to get started. So if you're if you're interested, uh, let me know. Uh, what I'm thinking I may do is take a list of interested parties and maybe do like I did with um, with Mark. Mark it said, "Hey, I'm I'm interested," <clears throat> and by no means did Mark have to take that pipe. And in fact, I told him that uh, that that hey, I, I'm I've got one ready to sell. I'm going to put it up. Um, but if you want it, you can have it, and um, and he, he he did. So that's 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 what I can do. Is if you're interested in say a certain style, like if you're interested in a poker or something, and then as soon as I make, you know, if I make a poker, and I can kind of have you at the top of my first right of refusal list. But um, and if there's something specific you're you know you're wanting in a color or whatnot, then at least I can kind of have that to think about. So anyhow, oh. So I'm just enjoying relaxing out here tonight. 
Got the uh, bow out today, shot it a few times. And then it turned out there's a bunch of wasps in my, uh, in my, uh, it's, I've left my target, my deer target up all year in the backyard here, and it's, um, full of wasps, so I gotta, gotta kill those tomorrow, I'll go shoot a bit more, bow season starts on Tuesday, uh, I'm not gonna get up till probably Saturday, be excited about getting out doing some deer hunting, any of you that are hunters understand that, I'm sure. Um, but I'll tell you a little story and then I'll wrap it up. Uh, last night I took my wife to um, Charlie's. Man, this is one of the things I like about my pipes is they just have a real open draw. I drill 1164 uh, draft hole and that really gives a nice open draw. So any of you that like that idea, that's what I'm doing. Anyhow, I was coming out on, uh, I bought, some of you may know, I bought a new Ultra 110 Anniversary Classic, uh, Ultra Classic, and uh, I've been enjoying that this summer. And I uh, was out to O'Charlie's last night, and I came out of O'Charlie's, and it's got a downhill dip out of there to the road and um, I was coming down that dip and I had came in the back and uh, as I'm coming down uh, I'm, I'm clear just to go around the corner and you know right hand turn and go up the road there's a car coming down the road just as I'm figuring I'm gonna do that that car just cuts off into my lane instead of coming down its lane and making a turn it decides it's coming into Charlie's and just comes right for me to cut me off so that I just had to hit the brakes hard while I was already in a turn with Kim in the back. That bike's heavy to begin with. Got it stopped down, but it was stopped down and bounced, kind of kicked back, and down I went. And so Kim kind of got her leg in there. Her leg got bruised a little bit. Um, wasn't as sore this morning as we thought she might be. And the, the bike got caught, rested on the bottom of the... Um, the footboard underneath there and my front highway peg kind of held it and so I got I was down but I was kind of not fully down I, I was able to kind of hold it from teetering right over uh, Kim got off I tried to put it up I couldn't I can't but couldn't put that bike up I got off while I still held it from going fully on a roll on it and, and then got and then Kim gave me a hand and we got it up, back up right so man I, I tell you what I haven't put a bike down since I was probably 18 and my last my last Harley 10 years not a not a scratch on it not a drop now I got this expensive crazy expensive bike and I just drives me crazy that I had to had to set it down <clears throat> so it turns out the highway peg just pivoted it was able to turn back little scratches on it but not that bad all this the uh, the, the rough scratch parts underneath the, uh, the footboard didn't touch the bags didn't touch the fairing didn't touch the pipes man I got off good I put it back together this morning and everything was it, it's I'll be able to put a little paint on a couple of scratched areas there's just a real little touch on the front bottom portion of the the, the leg fairing part so anyhow uh, gotta hate it when People aren't paying attention to bikes and uh, make you have to do something like that. I'm glad my wife didn't get hurt uh, any worse than she did. And, and for me, I was just sore today from all the strain of trying to set that bike up and the adrenaline running and holding the bike with my, my wrist was, has been killing me today, but managed to get it up. So anyhow, that's my little story of what happened last night uh, coming out of old Charlie. So. Anyhow... Uh, I haven't even been, I've been busy enough, I haven't even been able to watch many videos, so I'm going to get going and watch a few videos tonight and uh, catch up on what's going on with y'all. And uh, take care. See y'all later.